okay let us discuss this problem now this problem is related to ketoenol tautomerization and effect of solvent so you see this molecule acetyl acetone this molecule is called acetyl acetone you have to remember the formula of this compound so this group is acetyl group ch3co group is acetyl group if you have ch3co ch3 then this is acetone so what we are doing we have removed one hydrogen and put one acetyl group that's why this is called acetyl acetone so this is a acetyl acetyl derivative of acetone so this molecule is called acetyl acetone the upac name is iupac name will be 1 2 3 4 5 so you have position number 2 and position number 4 you have keto group so it can be called as 2 for diketone propanone are you getting or not or you can say propane ah sorry pentane 1 2 3 4 5 pentane so you can call it pentane 2 for diene so this is pentane 2 for uh, diene so this is basically ketone form now in all form will be this if you make this form in all I will have a double bond here, and then oxygen, hydrogen. I will have a bond here. Now this question says, so you write this one, keto form and enol form. So write down the keto form, enol form. In enol form, you will have a hydrogen bonding also. So you show the hydrogen bond clearly. So clearly show the double bond and hydrogen bond. Now the question says, if do we if we do this tautomerization in different solvent, if we do this tautomerization in H2O, enol content is 15%. If we do this tautomerization in CH3CN, that is slightly less polar. H2O is slightly more polar. CH3CN is slightly less polar, and C6H4, H14, that is even very less polar. Almost alkenes are non-polar, so this is alkene C6H14, 6 into 2, 12 plus 2, so 14 hydrogen I have. So this is alkene CN H2N plus 2. If I put n is equals to six, I will get six C six. So this is alkene, and alkenes everybody knows are non-polar molecules. Gas phase. This is zero percent polarity. So you see, if I decrease the polarity of solvent, percentage enol content increases. So you see, enol content is increasing. You see, in this case, you have more enol content. So if you decrease the polarity of solvent, enol content will increase. So I can say polarity. is inversely proportional to enol content so if i want more enol content i have to uh, decrease the polarity of solvent so you see why this is so why this is so can discuss i will give you a hint if the solvent is polar this molecule is basically a uh, polar also because oxygen will have negative charge carbon will have positive charge oxygen will have negative charge so keto form is slightly polar So, if the solvent is polar and keto form is also polar, it will try to stabilize this keto form. But if solvent is not polar, it will not stabilize the keto form. Are you getting or not? So, let me give you 30 seconds to think a lot, and then we'll discuss finally. Okay, let me discuss. So, if you see in a polar form, in polar solvent, this molecule gets stabilized. So, reaction will have tendency to go this side. In very non-polar solvent, this molecule will not uh, stabilize, but this will always be stabilized because of the hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond is always there. You see, in non-polar solvent, this does not gives gives uh, any. uh this does not basically stabilize so decreasing the stability of this reaction goes this side are you getting or not so it can write something like this in polar solvent keto form is stabilized by solvation when interaction with solvent becomes minimal the enol form achieve a stability by hydrogen bonding so you see the solvent does not take participate in keto form this equilibrium already goes to the enol form because if you have solvent that is less polar very less polar keto form does not form any a polar polar bond so there is a dipole dipole interaction so there is no dipole dipole interaction so keto form does not get stabilized at all now the enol form that is stabilized by hydrogen bond if keto form does not get stabilized 
in all form was already there was a stabilization was there but now this becomes important because keto form does not stabilize it and that's why this goes to us in all form are you getting or not should i explain one more time okay so let me explain one more so i am saying in keto form there is a polarity if i have a keto form and solvent is also polar in that case there will be keto form and polar solvent will be solvation so keto form will be solvated by the solvent and there is a this bond so in all form get less percentage because in all form if the keto form gets stabilized equilibrium will go in this direction now if the polar solvent is not there keto form does not get stabilized so equilibrium will go this side that is the end of end for this problem so you see you have to remember one result if the keto form is there you want keto form then you take polar solvent if you want in all form you take less polar solvent almost non polar solvent are you getting or not so this is about all about the solvation or the effect of solvent on tautomerization are you getting so what is this effect of solvent on tautomerization so i can have a heading and that is basically i am writing on the down basically this is heading of this question effect of solvent on tautomerization so what is the effect of solvent on tautomerization are you getting okay let us copy this one and then we will discuss the next problem i think you have i copied this one now okay good let's discuss the next problem